That is a huge cow killer wasp, velvet ant, mutilid, whatever you want to say. That's a big sucker. Look at those colors though. Look at how long that stinger is. <laughs> yikes, 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 yikes. I wonder what that behavior is. Maybe she's cleaning it off? That's an impressive sting. <laughs> She doesn't fall. All right, everybody, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, today I'm in some piney woods in East Texas, and I'm on the hunt for the next sting subject. Today I'm looking for a large mutillid, flightless wasp, velvet ant. So that's what I'm looking for today because a lot of you have asked for the velvet ant sting. So I'm looking for probably something in the genus Dazimutella, which are the really big velvet ants. So hopefully we're able to find a sizable specimen and hopefully I'm able to capture it and sting myself effectively with it for your own entertainment and education and enjoyment. So join me, friends, as we search for a very large creature um, to sting me once again, let's go. Now, it's really a good time of day to find these interesting little hymenopterans because they're gonna be scurrying around on the ground looking for prey, maybe looking for mates. Um, so right when the, when the sun is the warmest to sweat through the brand new merch uh, is when it's probably gonna be a good time to find these really interesting little insects. So let's see if we can spot anything rummaging around. Oh wow, look at this. Look at all these mushrooms, folks. Those are really neat, very orange. I like that. That's cool. What a cool thing we found. I have no idea what these mushrooms are. But neat. All right, let's try and find our velvet ants. Now, supposedly, these velvet ants, mutilid, flightless wasps, have a super painful sting. Every single thing I've been stung by so far has been kind of underwhelming, and I'm looking today to be whelmed. So let's see if we can find something that's uh, really gonna pack a punch, right? Guys, look at the size of this shelf fungi fruiting body. It's like a drum. It's huge, look at that. It's got some girth to it. Obviously not a parasitic species. It must be growing off of the root system of this old tree that has since passed on. Whoa, that's big. Oh, oh. oh my gosh, guys, we've got a big one. We've got a big one. Whoa, 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 look at that. Look at the size of it. Oh, that is a big mutilla. That's a big velvet ant. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Look at that. That thing is huge. That is a huge cow killer wasp, velvet ant, mutilla, whatever you want to say. That's a big sucker. Look at those colors though. Beautiful reddish orange, iridescent almost patterning now these are really really interesting these females um, are flightless but the males actually do possess wings and they're solitary uh, wasps a lot of people think they're actually ants they're not they're related to ants or cousins they're hymenopterans uh, but these are actually wasps so we're going to move into the shade and we're going to try and get a hold of her to test the sting for you guys because i know you've been anxiously awaiting so let's go Yeah. Okay, so I believe this to be Dazimutilla occidentalis, which is the common eastern velvet ant. Um, now this little female here, despite her striking beauty, should pack quite the punch. So I'm really hopeful that um, I'm impressed by this thing because as you all know, I have, uh, I've not been too impressed 
with the last few sting subjects here. Oh wow, so actually take a look folks at this stinger. Do you guys see that? Look at how long that stinger is. <laughs> yikes, 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 yikes. That stinger just probing around. She's wanting to get me with that and listen, Stridulating, she's upset. I don't want to keep you for too long, sweet honey. So, this sting is supposedly the second most painful or third most painful sting in the world, according to Justin and Schmidt. Um, I wasn't too impressed by tarantula hawk and bullet ant. Let me actually get a better grip on her. Um, when I was stung by those, and those supposedly outrank this lovely little uh, velvet ant here. So, I'm hopeful that maybe, uh, maybe she's earned the right to be up there. Um, oh, don't be super mad. Oh, come here. She's a squeaking little squeaker. Oh, shh, shh, shh. All right. I've got a great hold on her, but take another look at that stinger. Oh my gosh, that stinger is freaking huge. Do you guys see that? She's ready to go. I don't know about you guys, I'm ready to go. All right, so Desimutilla occidentalis, the beautiful common Eastern velvet ant. Shall we see? I think we shall. One, two, three, go. Come on. Come on. Get me. Get me. Is that it? Come on. Come on, sting, sting, sting. Come on, come on. What's the problem here, punk? Have you not figured out where to put your stinger? Sting me, sting me. Are you stinging me? Can I, is it not that bad? What's the deal? What's the matter, sweet cutie? Are you camera shy or something? What's wrong? Why don't you want to sting me? Are you broken? Did I get stung? I can't tell. If that was the sting and I can't even tell if I got stung, that's gonna be a little bit stupid. That's gonna be the most underwhelming yet. I feel like if you can't even tell that you've been stung, it's not that bad of a sting. Um, let's try her again. Once again, I mean, look at that stinger. Look at that thing. Come on. Oh, 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 are you about to get me? That, I felt a little bit of a pinch. Okay, hmm. She did sting me a second ago, just a tiny bit. Come on. Okay, come on, sting me. Let's see here. Try and keep her more like, come on. Just, you can sting me. Okay, yeah, she got, she's, ooh, she's got me now. Okay, wow. Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's, that's a little painful, but I would say the initial sting is not nearly as bad as how it's kind of ramping up. Um, oh yeah, she got me good now. Um, I would say it's pretty similar to most other wasps, about the same size. Um, as far as toxicity goes, these gals are about as potent as a uh, honeybee, um, so it's nothing crazy, um, but it is supposed to be kind of painful, and 
I think you can take a look now. You can see that little white mark is actually where she got me. You wanna go sit on your prize? Oh. Oh, let's get her to walk on that. Wow, look at that. Now, the stings from these are supposed to be pretty formidable, and yeah, it was a painful sting, but I mean, oh wow, look at her pushing that stinger out. You see that? I wonder what that behavior is. Maybe she's cleaning it off? That's an impressive sting. <laughs> what an interesting behavior. Look at that. She's continuing to do that. Look at that stinger. It's quite the stinger there. Now take another look. Okay, so you can actually see the two little spots where she did get me. Spot one and spot two. It's it's tight. It's it's a little hot. It's a little painful. As you can see, I'm kind of really sweating now. Um, but other than that, it's it's more than bearable. I would say maybe even less than the Queen Vespula Squamosa, the yellow jacket, um, which is a little disappointing. It's been a it's kind of been for some reason an ignored sting subject for me. Um, I did tarantula hawk. I've done bullet ant. I've done some. Uh, giant hornets, um, but surprisingly no velvet ants. And maybe, maybe we need to try a few species, which I don't mind doing to try and find one that's actually going to uh, really hurt a lot more. But I'm impressed that this is just, I'm impressed that I'm still not impressed. Because I'm shocked by the fact that these animals that are like, Oh, it's a cow killer wasp. It's, it's, it's the third most painful sting behind bullet ant and tarantula hawk. And I'm like, what are you guys comparing stuff to? Like, I do not have an exceptionally high pain tolerance. I, I, I can't get my eyebrows plucked without flinching. And these animals have, have, have yet to kind of put me on my butt. So I'm confused. I'm just confused. That's all. Maybe eventually I'll find something that'll be like, wow, yeah, that's that's the worst thing for sure. But this just feels about like an average day over here at Jack's Little Wildlife. And you can see she really got me. Take a look now. Those two big welts right there. Lots of swelling in the area. Some some kind of sweating as well. I shouldn't say sweating. I mean, swelling. I should say inflammation. But not too bad. Should I try and put it on my face now? Oh, she's just like, now she doesn't want to cooperate. She's not been very cooperative for the entirety of this video. Come here. Oh, <laughs> she's turning every single time I move my head. Come on. Whoop, she's too fat. Come here. I'm sorry. I don't mean to drop you, but of course, just like, uh, all insects she has an incredibly durable exoskeleton and even a even a drop from a great height is still not going to damage her she's like ew you're gross i'm gonna keep cleaning my antenna and my body for as long as we're filming together is she on my hat now great hopefully she doesn't fall She's just chilling up there. Mutillidae are really interesting. They're, once again, flightless wasps. They lack a petiole, which is the body segment that ants have. Um, so their thorax just goes straight into their abdomen. Um, they're, of course, primarily uh, um, feeding on other soft-bodied insects and things like that. But uh, they're really interesting. Let me see. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. You okay? She really likes the hat. She's like squeaking and yelling and throwing a fit. How <laughs> about getting taken off of this hat? She likes it. That's cute. Okay, there we go. Wow. Okay, well, hmm. I guess I'll just update you guys as we go. Oh! 
Oh, nice catch. Nice catch, Jack. Um, once again, another disappointing sting test. As always, I'm made out of steel and nothing can defeat me in the insect world, which, I mean, makes sense because look, it's, it's small, it's a tiny creature. Like, even with incredibly potent venom, you know, it has such a small yield. And so, what are you gonna do? Uh, maybe if I was allergic, this would cause some damage, but some light inflammation, a little discomfort, uh, not something I would rank in my top three, no siree. So, really cool little velvet ant. Not the, uh, not the worst looking animal. They're quite attractive, quite pretty. Beautiful, beautiful hairs covering the body. Um, we're gonna try and get some shots of this little female here uh, before we kind of let her get on her way. Um, but uh, hopefully we can find some other species of, of sting subjects this year so that we can uh, try for something that's actually gonna really, really hurt. But uh, we're gonna get some pictures of this gal and then we'll let her get on her way. All right, well, we had an interesting sting test today. Um, as you can see, this is about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so afterward. Most of those initial inflamed spots where the stinger went in are kind of gone now. Um, not super impressed. It was, it was a little sting. I don't even feel it anymore. I mean, poking it, prodding it, licking it, nothing. I don't feel a thing. So, sorry, Dazimutilla occidentalis. You're fired. So, neat little insect, really pretty. Uh, supposedly, super painfully stinging so far, at least with this one, no dice. So, we're gonna let her go. We're gonna let her kind of run off to do whatever it was she was doing. And there she goes. Well, hmm. Interesting. I'm a little disappointed, I gotta say, but uh, you wanted it. I was curious. We did it. And of course, disappointment reigns supreme once more. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was interesting just to see where the Velvet Ant falls into the rest. I would rank it below most everything except for maybe around the smaller wasp area. Maybe Polistes level, but it was pretty wimpy. Um, I'm going to update you guys as we go along, uh, just so you guys can see if anything else happens, if we get any more swelling, if all of a sudden two hours from now it's excruciating pain, um, but I, I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, so here we are, like, gosh, I don't know, maybe 30 hours after the initial sting. Look at that. Hardly anything. Hardly any swelling whatsoever. Um, honestly, I don't think it's going to do much else than this. So I might just leave it here. It's not even that itchy. Um, we had a little bit of swelling or inflammation right there and right there with the initial entrance points of those, of the stinger. Um, but other than that, it wasn't too bad. So once again, I'm a little disappointed. I'm a little unimpressed. But that's not going to stop me from testing out a ton of new stings this year. So stay watching and stay tuned. I will bid you adieu. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, buy our new merchandise, turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything else. And thank you for watching Jack's World of Wildlife.